Hello, and welcome back to episode 47 of my Darkest Dungeon Let's Play. Today we are taking... hang on. Isaac. Today we are taking... Elaine, David, Timberley, and Isaac up to the Warrens to take down the unstable flesh. Let's spin. Because we've got all this bonus damage and bonus XP, this will bring our last two veterans up to Master Rank and possibly send Isaac and David into Champion Rank while we're at it. If we go ahead and sort everyone by level and look at the bottom of their roster. Yep, these are absolutely our last two veterans. So it's absolutely worth taking them in and absolutely worth leveling them up. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. More absolutely than Gia Gun. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, let's have that. Um, I did go ahead and equip trinkets, but it seems that they have fallen off. So we are going to re-equip them. Let's sort of them by rarity. Uh, let's give you a legendary bracer. Uh, the double-edged pendant. And... Hmm, the Warriors Bracer, that'll do. And for David, our Grave Robber, we're going to go for the Lucky Talisman, the Raider's Talisman, and the Tough Ring. So yeah, Isaac um, didn't upgrade his weapon, upgraded his armour because he's just going to be healing. And for that he has Junia's Head, the Stellar Band and Celestial Cloak, which together form the Celestial Array which have all these extra beautiful things going along with them. So all his healing skills will be through the fucking roof, which is great. Uh, Timberley has all the good damage stuff. He's going to be our little cannon who take things out. He's going to be using his move forward skills. So I've also equipped David with Shadow Fades, which will allow him to move backwards if Timberley takes his spot, and then he means he'll be in the right position to use Poison Darts the next turn. And Elaine will be staying up front to make use of Iron Swan, Wick Attack, possibly Breakthrough if she gets really shuffled, and Adrenaline Rush just in case she ends up in a shit ton of trouble, which shouldn't really happen. Let's spin. Cool. Right, let's provision. Uh, we will be camping, so let's take a stack and two snacks. We'll take two herbs in case we find some more things to purify to eat, we'll take a couple of keys, uh, we'll take two of each of these and we'll take four shovels. We'll leave loads of space, I want to try and, I'm doing okay for money just now, so I want to try and focus on heirlooms this time if possible. Let's see, keys, food, shovels, torches, that's what I almost forgot. Cutscene. I could not store such a prodigious amount of offal, nor could I rid myself of it easily, possessed as it was by unnameable things from outer spheres. When excavations beneath the manor broke through into an ancient network of aqueducts and tunnels, I knew I had found a solution to the problem of disposal. So that's how the Warrens was created. He was digging about in the manor and found all these tunnels and he filled it with all the dead piglies that he'd be bringing back to life. The thing is more terrible than I can describe. An incoherent jumble of organ, sinew, and bone. I'm going to guess top right. Probably top right. Uh, let's go for the treasure room. Battle right off the bat, I'm fine with that. Let's go. Double champions. Great. What a great start. Right, so you need to be in forward mode. Uh, let's take the tricks from the option. A powerful blow. Boom! Ain't nobody listening to your howls, bitch. Masterfully executed. I mean, David just came to slay. He didn't come to play. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Nobody has stress, nobody's taking damage, so let's buff Elaine! 
for massive damage next round. Wish your blade resists. Weak. Not weak enough, it seems. So how's everyone doing today? All having a good day? All having a wonderful time? Great. Uh, yeah. Boom! Singular strike! Oh, commentary is not on point today. I am, I don't know, like, I slept really well, but maybe too well. Do you guys ever get that? I slept way longer than usual, and when I got up, I just felt groggy and useless. I've had two cups of coffee already, and they haven't touched the sides. Festering fear consumes the mind. Uh, I may as well use these while I got them. Get a bit of my inventory. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Tim has like such a wide array of skills that it's it's actually quite difficult to choose what to do. So I have to like read them every individual time. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the stress, and I'll have Isaac sort the rest out when he can. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Another champion, great. Wait, are these ones technically champions? I know they're like a large size to take up two ranks, but I don't know if they're technically champions. Right, stress dealer. Sorry, I also just had breakfast, so I'm kind of burping away. And sniffing. I mean, this is just a, a cacophony of horrible body noises. I do apologize. I will be better in the future, I swear. Um, if I move back, is that going to fuck up Isaac? Yeah, it really is. He needs to stay in rank two, uh, rank three or four. So let's do this and do this. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Right, thank you. Thank you, Isaac. Ain't nobody touching the lane, not today, not on tonight. Um, individual targets are probably better. Let's rid of the stress dealer. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. And we can just stay here and we can attack this thing. And spirit shift. And paralyzing bam. Boom! Cursed champion falls. Right, so prioritize heirlooms. Push on to the task's end. Uh, see that I get nothing but money. That's an easy trade. Oh honey, all this trade. Right, let's sort our party out. And we'll go this way. Ooh, right, okay, so negative quirks. Fragile is pretty terrible. Stress eater I hate. Nocturnal's a bit of a pain in the arse. Oh my. Uh, so yeah, let's see if we can get rid of Fragile. It's not a great chance it's going to work, but we'll give it a shot. Burn the scroll! Burn the witch! Scattering, so that basically had no effect because that's that affects range skills and she doesn't have any. Right, David, you can disarm this. 130% chance of success. And get rid of some of your stress. Everything is coming up fucking millhouse. Curio room! What's in the box? Some fucking Yumis. Every time I see these guys and I have Timberlow by party, I just get the fear because. Uh, 
this guy, I think, actually killed my original prodigy sucker. And I am bitter about it, bitch. Spread the damage! Spirit shift you into forward mode. And send you right up the front. Boom! I think all his moves, uh, all Timberless moves actually have a bonus against humans. Yeah. Well, not all of them. Most of them. Most? Some? Yeah, I think it's just paralyzing Pam. Did you remember that? Right. Let's go for a rejuvenating party the wounds heal. Wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. And we'll see where we are. And target big dude. Setting up for a paralyzing Pam next round. This is exactly how it went down last time. Oh, thank God that missed. This is exactly how it went down last time. And Sokka died. A victory. Suck a bitch. The turning point. It's such a dangerous party comp for them because they just they combo together so well. Oh, Wefeline, come on. Get your fucking head in the game! Don't shank my healer, you dick. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Shank my healer, you immediately die. That's the rules. Uh, let's bring you back up to the front. So that we can iron swan next round. Uh, big heal on yourself. Thank you, Isaac. Ah, oh, that ruins Aaron Swan for some reasons. So, Timberly and Elaine don't work well together. Elaine needs to stay up the front so she gets access to her front and back skills. And Timberlake can't help but come up to the front lines with most of his moves, so I need to remember that. Paralyzing Pan. Oh. Eradicated. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Who is feeling frisky? Elaine, touch this. Touch it. Sweet. So let's not camp. For as long as possible. This is a few food I was talking about. So everyone can just chow down. What's this bleed looking like? Another two damage. Fuck it. Oop, too many escapes. <laughs> Whew. Don't need that trap. Can we get a scout? The light. The After we kill these piggies. After Tim gets barfed on. But doesn't get the disease, thank god. I hate disease. Again, distracted by this little love heart locket. So cute. Unnerved. Unbalanced. Nope. Nope. I don't want it. I don't want Tim to die. I don't want to lose another prodigy. Oh, nice. Well done. Needs it bigger than a seven, but you know, every little helps. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Let's try again. Nine. Nine's bigger than seven. You listened. Well done. Why was also there four? Wait. Why was there also a four? It said nine and a little four. I don't know. Right. 
Paralyzing Palm. That's Fangolin, you can tank that, right? 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 A devastating blow. Ooh, David, it's a crit toxic attack. Well done. Um, I think if we move you back, yeah, you'll probably just kill the guy anyway. Their yeah. formation is broken. Then we'll just sort of fire down for the offensive. Do do do. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Uh, do I want you right, okay? To be at the scout, so we say, let's scout before we use my last key. Right, we didn't find a secret room and I'm not hanging around much after this, so let's use the key here. Beautiful. Right, do I want to camp? Uh, yes. Yes? For the buff? Yeah, we'll camp, we'll go for buffs. And then hopefully killing the flesh will be easier. We are, we are surrendering the buff that uh, Elaine got from touching that idol. But we'll hopefully be able to get better ones. Right, so clairvoyance. As it takes a little bit of stress damage, but that's fine. It means we'll get ambushed. Wait, what buffs can we have? Nobody has a disease to get rid of. That's get rid of stress. More extra in dodge. That's a possibility. Uh, yeah, we'll take the damage buff and the debuff. We can really debuff with some herbs actually, which is that right now. And we'll take the accuracy and dodge. And we have two left, so let's get some more heirlooms. And that'll do us for the night. And is that bleed? And onwards to the boss. If I can actually remember to do my part order first, which I can, yeah. I uh, use advantages so I can't get a good interaction out of that. I can do this. Oh, right. Big pile of reanimated eggs. May we find victory. Let's fucking do this. Fucking here we go, boys. Squirming. Contorting and ever expanding. This horror must be unmade. Right, so that one heals. That one blights. And I think these two just do raw damage. So it really doesn't matter where we hit because even though these are individual targets, they share one health bar. So let's just keep hitting it. And let's move you forward or back doesn't really matter actually. I suppose if we move you forward. No, actually, no, we're gonna move you back. We're gonna move you back because impressive. If we move you forward, you move forward by two, and then Kachi moves back, and she has buffs if she's in position one. There we go, I figured it out. I'm going to use moves to spread the damage because I'm hitting two targets but it's both off the same health bar which just makes way more sense. Heal yourself! I said heal yourself! There we go. Soothed. Sedated. I think maybe something to do with Isaac's loadout is giving heals on top of heals. Because that's the second time I've seen the um little heal number appear twice and it's been different. I might look that up on one of the fan made wikis because I don't know if it'll be on the official one because this is a modded class. 
Again, I don't really see a lot of danger in this boss, mainly because I'm overpowered as shit. Okay, so I have no choice but to move you forward all the way. But holy shit, Divine Haymaker, what a move. That will, uh, we'll have Timberly move himself back. You can just take the loss of the buff for this round. Because if I move you forward with Breakthrough, you'll debuff yourself anyway, and I don't have any herbs to take it off. These fucking strats, man. Nice dodge. And he passed his turn for some reason. Uh, since we're back here, we might as well take advantage of this. Your blade resist is pretty weak. Yeah. Suffer. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Horrible. This is probably like one of the bosses I would least like to fight in real life. Just like an undulating pile of ever shifting pig flesh with eyes everywhere and teeth and. Blech. Whatever this is, ribs maybe? Just fail. Right, everyone's hurting a wee bit. So we'll do this. Oh, crit restoration. I'm all about that. Let's do this to hit two targets. Boom! Beautiful. So it's doing not a bad job at staying alive, it's just I'm doing a slightly better job at killing its face. Again, I thought spreading the blight out would be a better idea because it would take two turns of blight for one single health bar, but no, it didn't land. Uh, let's move you back again. Uh, same shit, different day. Boom! You've got your bonuses back. Uh, same shit again. Like heal and restoration. Thank you. Keep everybody alive, Isaac. You're doing so well. I've just got two healing things this time. Doesn't really affect what I'm doing, but maybe it's a little bit harder to kill it now. I mean, not harder, it just takes slightly longer. I feel like this boss just delays the inevitable. Uh, we're going to go back again to wind up with the Divine Haymaker, which I just figured out was a really, really great move. Almost dead, 11 health left. Boys, fucking hell. Right, finish it off. No? Not quite yet. Almost. Spirit shift into Divine Haymaker. Shoot, finish it off. Do it, Timberly. It is oh my god. 63. As it was in life. Is that our highest damage to date? These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Uh, do we escape? No, we don't. Um, so two empty rooms with very little treasure in between. Uh, no, that's probably enough for today. So well done, Timberly, for breaking the fucking damage limit. You fucking genius. Um, we also got the Martyr Steel, which is great. Um, I think we're probably going to take this into the Darkest Dungeon, where we're almost guaranteed to be in trouble. Uh, give us some Death Blow... Bleh, 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 death Blow Resist and make us much stronger if we do it taking down to 0 HP. Which could be pretty clutch. Hopefully we'll see. So Elaine... Was Elaine... Yeah, Elaine was... 
hang on, let me actually speak words with my mouth. Elaine was veteran, she skipped right past master into champion, so well fucking done. Uh, David's on master and Timberly and Isaac's on champions. What do we pick up for that? Cove tactician, that's fine. That's pretty good. That's not great, but I suppose we could live with it. That's pretty good. And that's perfect for a healer. Beautiful. Good results all round. Our family name, once so well regarded, is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. Right, so everyone's off party. Sort of by stress. Hmm, yeah, nobody really needs to be committed. So let's sort by level. Oh, look at all those fives. And no threes left, just fours and fives. <gasps> yeah, we definitely have enough people to go on some uh, champion rank uh, missions, but we're going to clear up the rest of the smaller ones with these fours first. There's so many of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Possibly nine, ten people are ready just to tick over into champion. That's great. Uh, let's see if we get any newbies going to join. No. No, we don't. Nothing there I wanted. So let's see what we're looking at next week. So we're probably looking at the ruins or the cove. The sunken crew. Actually, I don't hate that. That's not bad for Timberley. I've already got cudgel weights. A big resist thing for the for Andrew. Not terrible. Would be our first uh, champion level dungeon as well. And activates all Saints Day, whatever that is. Blade Crystal, I'm probably never going to use. And I already have some of those. But that does give us the, the boost to XP as well. So that's maybe something to consider. Ooh, the Ancestral Pen. The Ancestor's Pen is an Ancestral Trinket, actually. Those are really, really important. 5 crit and 5 melee. Uh, 5 crit and 5. That's 15 damage. I can't speak. Do you know what? That's, that is enough. Clearly not awake enough to be recording yet. I'm very sorry for the low quality of this video. I will do better in the future. <laughs> but yeah, we might go back to the Warrens and get this ancestral trinket because there is an achievement, I believe, for getting all of those. Uh, that's also pretty cool, but not as cool as this. So yeah, we may go back to the Warrens for a big explore next time. Taking some of our level 4s who will be under-leveled for it, but I think... Given that we're playing on easy mode, that might be fine anyway. It would also power level them up. Yeah. So cool, that's probably what we're going to do. Thank you very much for joining me. Look how pretty our town is. It's all leveling up. We've still got a broken roof and shit, but yeah, we're all getting there. We're getting there. Cool. Thank you for joining me, and I will catch you next time. Bye.